KG's back with an entrance. Big up to those in attendance. Here's the five things deep. Urban Man United L. I'm so annoyed, man. First thing deep. Got to talk about Ten Hag. Ten Hag, Ten Eric, man. This loss was on you today, bro. Eric. Uh, this loss is on Eric today. We got to be real. We got to be real. We praise him and we can say when it's, when it's on Eric, I'm giving 70% of the blame to Eric Ten Hag today. Why? <sighs> you, you live and die by the decision. I said, I'm not going to blame. I'm going to stand with every decision he makes. I'm with it. The Maguire one, I got it. I understood it. It was a risk, but I understood it. Play Maguire. Maguire makes the mistake for the first goal. Cool. Cool. Then we look at the other situation. We look at the McTominay for Bruno one. Probably it just wasn't a good decision. It wasn't a good decision. But then after, that's just looking at the game. But last season the season before we given away late goals man united can't keep doing this we play literally it was it was it was a playoff game it became playoffs nba it became a playoffs game three game four of the playoffs we can't do this we can't like we can't set our team up like this and it just it's annoying because when they when he's called out a little bit today he's kind of called out for it he was like well oh just annoying it is annoying i can't lie to you because they said listen you're still making these same mistakes like what's that all about he said no nah, not really no nah, i don't think that tells the true story now i i hear what he's saying but we can't lose to brighton second game of the season we can't at least not lose at least and yeah they're easy goals and stuff but we collectively and as the leader of the ship bro you we can't have that we can't we can't have that no no we have to do better we must do better anyway um yeah i'm just not i'm it's it's just not cool it's not on it's not on but first thing deep is Ten Hag has to just sort this out. He has to sort this out. We, we can't commit to these late goals anymore. Anyway, that's the first piece. Look, yo, second thing deep. Marcus Rashford, got to talk about him. Not to say where I'm down on him or giving up on Rashford or nothing like that. The one thing I will talk about is, well, he's starting games. Now, Rashford, there has to be an expectation when you do start games. You must deliver, Rashford. You must. You are the main man at the club. You are the star. And again, if Ganacho's, if Ganacho's holding bench, Rashi, I need output. I need serious output. I, I remember I saw a video recently. It was of Ben White talking about um, the hardest players played against. And he mentioned Rashford. And what Rashford was doing is like chopped him these many times and he done his job. Like that Rashford. And my, when I was talking to my brother on the, on the way home, he said to me, look, you know, one thing I can say about Rashford is I'm more surprised when he does something good than you know when um i'm more i'm being more surprised when he does something good that's why i am now i'm not i'm more ex i'm expecting it to not go his way and i hear him a little bit so this is not me bashing rashford or nothing like that it's saying rashford you must deliver when you when you play you have to give us something we watch we watch saka play week in week out salary and all these other players you are you're supposed to be in the group with those players you're supposed to be with that in that with that class but then we're not getting that and we saying rashad to the bench now is crazy but it we, it needs to be addressed third thing deep mason mount it's a it's a thing it's a story it's a i don't know what i don't know it's a problem i don't know what to call it but man united with mason mount we are we have more control we're in we we have the ball more where i wouldn't say we're better but then 
is Mason Mount an injury prone player now we lost Mason Mount but he didn't play last season we might as well say that we did not see that number seven when Mason Mount got taken off Flex was like this is the most harshest decision he's seen he does not understand the decision and I couldn't understand with Flex but I said look Flex I am backing the manager whatever the manager is saying goes so if he's saying Mason Mount has to come off then Mason Mount has to come off but when you're watching the game and seeing that we are struggling without Mason Mount it raises questions it raises questions but there's other deeper questions that are being raised right now one of the deepest questions that are being raised is well where does mason play with bruno because if we got two strikers we just bought in two strikers and you're telling me mason has to play for balance but kobe has to play but then bruno has to play but then so what's the midfield are you telling me it's the midfield of Cass is it a midfield of mason kobe and bruno too lightweight not gonna work we need that player so is it a rotation of mason and kobe like what do we do here or are we switching bruno out wide when is that the move when we got garnacho got ahmad it it raised a lot of questions today mason's position and it's not like a mason mount story but it's like well if he's injured tr trouble he said he felt something the manager wanted to take him off he didn't want to risk him i understand that that's a good decision different to the lenny euro decision but man um I, I conflicted with loads of questions what do we do now what is how do we set our team up how do we get the most out of this man united side i honestly don't know i don't know i don't know how to fix this midfield do we is it the same problem that's the third thing deep fourth thing deep gotta talk about it man late late goals man united we 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 did this a lot last season we keep doing this we done this at the beginning with in the in the carrot wait in the charity shield late goal like what are we thinking why can't we just why can't we fix this part of our game we can't fix it man it i can't take this part bro the, the, again the main the main reason the lit i was thinking you know what we have the leadership we have everything now there should be no issues we should not be conceding late goals that should be a thing of the past not a thing of the past not a thing of the past thing of the present thing of the here right now like oh my goodness man man united man how could you do that how could you do that uh, and we saw it coming we see it coming i should call mystic flex man mystic flex because the guy just he says oh it doesn't look good here basketball game it's gonna turn something's gonna happen they're gonna score what happens they score we have seen this we've been to this party we've been to this dance when you say not my first rodeo then why do we act like it is every single time don't lose don't lose man united just lose oh it's 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 just ridiculous that's the only word i can use to describe it conceding let goals in the manner we do is ridiculous you know the low goes to sleep anthony allows the cross oh oh we have to do better 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 can't concede these late goals that's the fourth thing deep fifth and final thing deep give you some positivity because let's just end with some positivity it's a shite result <laughs> it's a shite result but there's time to fix it. There's time to address it. Thank God for the window still being open. Thank God that we can bring in a player like you got. Need him. Need him. Need him. Maybe he'll be the difference. Maybe he'll like... One thing about doing these hate-alongs is watching other teams and seeing what is possible. I watched Onana and um, I can't remember that player from City today in the Aston Villa side. But they look like they had something going on in their team and obviously well Watkins ruins it but like they had something going they were cooking they were moving they were on their job Man United Kobe there's those moments when I was like yeah this is good Agate must come in we have to figure out we spent money this season and the midfield is still an issue the midfield is still a problem let's we have to be honest the midfield is still something that needs to be addressed 
we have to get ourselves together there is time though there is time um it's not all do ten Hag must fix this and he can fix this he can fix this today it's not like this though it is not like this it is not like this we need to find another way of playing and we need to work it out as soon as possible um drop points today man losing today was losing away from home today in the manner that we did is unacceptable i'll, I'll say it like that we do the best team i can't even say we're the best team man i'm sorry to say it. i can't say we're the best team because we there's a goal line clearance there was there was moments man there was enough moments and it was literally like what they said about us in the last game which i didn't think is true but it just it rings so true today we're mudded i'm mudded but it is what it is we move on to the next one liverpool the only way you can make it right is a very big uh, uh, we have to have a big result against liverpool we must win that game anyway it's up to ten hag in it and the boys i'm out of here peace don't forget to like and subscribe roll to our 100k in it <laughs> soon come peace Drop a bomb, 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 bomb. Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. We got to those in attendance. Two, look at this. Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. KG, this one's crazy. You're too reckless. Bro. None can compare with the KG done. Better take over when he drops that. Bomb, bomb, Going on bomb. reckless, trust it's on. It's that time when he drops that. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I said, drop a bomb, Dad.